hundred times. Okay, now what good is it going to do either Cruz or Eden if we put our wedding off yet again? Come. I just don't feel like celebrating anything right now. Oh, I, I know, I know it's not easy for you, but is it going to help Cruz? Is it going to help Cruz if, if we put it off again? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I can't even think straight. And God, I wish we, oh, I'm going to cancel every appointment we ever have. I just don't feel like celebrating. Kelly, anything. will so you lighten up, up please? Do you think it's too late to cancel the shower? I can't believe it's you. Are you all right? Let me see you. No. No, not now. What is it? In time, I'll tell you everything. What's important is I... I was rescued. And I found my way back to you. Never stop thinking about you. Or missing you. No, I, you. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. I never stopped loving you, Mason. Why didn't you stop writing? Where were you all that time? I was putting the pieces of my broken life back together. How long have you been here? In Santa Barbara, who else knows you're here? No one. Only you. The rest doesn't matter. Please. In time, I'll tell you everything. Tell me what I can do to help you. Hold me. Let me, let me hold you. <laughs> Danny, aren't you forgetting something here? What? That Eden planned this bridal shower. Now, if you won't go for your sake, at least go for hers. Jeffrey, I'm telling you, I I'm sure she will be just as relieved as I am not to have to go through with it. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you have any idea what it's going to be like tonight? Anyway, she and Cruz are the ones that are supposed to be married. I wish there was something we could do. There is, there is. We can go ahead with our wedding as planned. And you don't find that selfish? No. No, you don't no. find... No. No? You don't think he's, he's going to jail? No. All right, you win. Once again. No, oh, I just hope this testimony turns around soon. In Cruz's favor. Just some superficial bruising in the neck. I think oh. it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit down. Again, I will caution the attorneys that any further physical outbreaks will be subject to arrest for contempt of court. Remand the defendant to a holding cell until he can be taken to jail. Why are you putting Just me in here? Just leave. Put you for 
a minute, all right? I want to see Cruz before they take him back to his cell. So upset. Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm really, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, really. You're not your usual spunky self. Oh. What's the matter? Did uh, they put you through the ringer at Cruz's trial today? Huh? Yeah, this is this is really an interesting statue here. Yeah, it's from Guatemala. Really? Yeah, I picked it up when we were filming uh, Attack of the Killer Virgins. <laughs> I don't think I saw that one. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm so no, 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 sorry. No, 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 no
I know. You're a lawyer, and I'm the witness you've been looking for. Were you at the Laser Palace on the night of September 24th? Yes. And did you see Elena? Did you see your daughter? I was going to the Laser Palace to meet her. I heard a gunshot. I got frightened and I ran away. But you didn't see who shot her? No. I'm sorry. If it will help you, are going to court. No, I'm not sure that would be a good idea. Why? Well, you're not in the best of health. Yes, but surely if I tell the jury everything that happened, it'll be all right. I wish it were that simple. What do you mean? You'll be there. You can take care of me. Sometimes right and wrong get mixed up in a court of law. Unfortunately, our judicial system doesn't deal in absolutes of truth. How is it going in there? I don't know. It's been quiet. Ken, I need to talk to him. Sure. What is it? Mason, the situation is urgent. I'm aware of that, Julia. Please. Tell your mother that it's okay for her to testify, please. I don't agree. Mason, we have to help Cruz. She's been through hell. I'm not sure she could stand the pressure. Mrs. Cumber, will you excuse us for a minute, please? It's all right. I'll be back. Kane, it, it's all right. I'm going to talk to Mason for a minute. Oh. She's my mother. I know. And I know that that's very difficult for you. She told me that she's innocent, so you don't have to protect her from anything. I do from you. Me? I see the wheels turning, Julia. You've been looking for another suspect ever since we took up this case. Because there is one. You know that Cruz didn't kill Elena. Well, then we'll have to find another way of proving that. After you left the courtroom today, Timmons called Eden back up on the stand. Why? To question her again, or torment, I should say. He brought up the love letter from Cruz that was found in Elena's safe deposit box. And? He made her read it. Mason, he has the jury eating out of his hands. They're buying the story that Cruz tried, Cruz killed Elena to stop her from, from going to Eden about their affair. It's all insinuation, supposition. And it's working. We have got to do something to poke holes in Keith's version of the events and fast. And a surprise witness would do just that. We'll have to find another way. We don't have any more time. Cruz lost it when Eden read the letter and he attacked him. And no. He practically, he practically killed him. Right in front of the judge and the jury. So our brilliant strategy of painting Cruz as this law-abiding citizen who won't hurt a flea won't work. Damn it. We need to put your mother up on the stand. If she's innocent, she has nothing to fear. That's what we told Cruz. Keeping a material witness hidden is unlawful as well as unethical. Please don't make me do this. If you won't make her testify, I will. My mother says she didn't see a thing. You're too good of a lawyer to just leave it at that. Hey, hey. I would love to finish the job the crew started on you, pal. I'd love to do that. Now, now, look where violence got your buddy Cruz. And you drove him to it. Well, now, he's just about to get me the same way he got Elena. He didn't do anything to Elena, and you know it. Yeah, I'm just doing my job, lady. You are despicable. You know that? What did I do? What did you do? 
You take a beautiful letter that Cruz writes to Eden. You make it dirty. You make it trashy. You make it public. You baited him, man. No wonder he attacked you. Hey, wait a second. You know, I a lot, a lot of things, but I'm, I'm not masochistic. I mean, the guy's a homicidal maniac. An opinion that I'll, hey, a lot of Santa Barbara's going to share. Come on. Me soon. Excuse me, my public's calling. Can you do that? Cruz is innocent. Listen, we all know that. We all know that. Julia and Mason, they're gonna prove it. Don't worry about it. When? Just as soon as we find this so-called veiled woman, that's when. You really believe that? We have to believe it. We have to believe it'll happen. That's right. Listen to Mrs. C. Do not listen to this scum. I won't. But what if the jury does? <sighs> Oh, uh, don't be. Please don't be scared. Timmy's twisted everything I said. I know. I shouldn't have jumped a little jerk, but he just... He, I couldn't stand to hear him yelling at you like that. I made myself look bad, didn't I? It was, it was real dumb. But I still think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to... We're going to be okay. Why don't you go home and get some sleep, baby? You look tired. How can I sleep when you're not with me? I know. I tried counting sheep. That didn't work. Maybe you could think about our kids. Start thinking of, start thinking of names for our kids. You know? Lots of names. And we're, you can't name them all Little Eden. Some of them might be boys. I'm sorry. That's dumb. But we can't let this little twerp get us down. You know? We gotta hang tough. We gotta have a little hope. It helps me have hope if you have it too. You gotta hold on to some of it for me, okay? Mason, we need to get down to the courthouse. All right. But promise me you won't tell anyone about my mother. I promise you. I'll be outside in a minute. Good night. Good night. What is going on in there? Who is this lady? I'm sorry, but I'm sworn to secrecy. Can you still stand by the door? Yeah, as long as you need me. Thanks. Thank you. I will get you a relief as soon as I can. Thanks, Kate. I need a promise from you, too. What is it? Anything. Stay here. Don't leave this room under any circumstances. Now that I've found you, I don't want to risk losing you again. I couldn't stand that either. Don't worry, Mother. I'll be back as soon as I can. Now that I've found you, nothing will ever separate us again. Oh. Oh, my wonderful son. Be back as soon as I can. Mason, I want to ask something of you. Certainly. What is it? Your, your brother, Jeffrey. I want to see him, too. Please, can you arrange that? Of course, Mother. Whatever you want. My darling, Miss. You've had quite a day. I'm sorry. Uh, Cruz, the bailiff's on his way to transfer you. Uh, Miss Keppel better disappear. Yeah. Thank you, Cruz. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to cancel the shower. No, you can't. You've got to go through with it. It's important to me. As important as you two going through with your wedding plans. Listen, you don't have to put on this cover. I am your sister. And I am your sister. I want your happiness. 
Baby, are you sure? I understand what's going on. We can cancel it. I, I don't mind. I'm positive. Cruz agrees with me completely. It'll restore our faith in our future if you two get on with yours. I want to speak with a prisoner. Alone. But wait outside, right outside. I want to tell you about your horse. Wait a second, this is your sign. You know, I know your sign. Don't you love it? I... Wait a second. Uh, adverse planetary aspects might tempt, tempt you to explode. But don't give in. You'll be bound to run into trouble. Don't you... <sighs> I got, I got to run. I got to go tell Yeah, you why don't you get like the that. hell out of here? Yeah. I, you know, so I think you got to level that poor girl out there before she ODs on pluck. You know, I mean, she her, she's flying so high, she's going to get dizzy from the altitude. I mean, you and I both know that you don't stand a snowball's chance in Juarez. <laughs> I'll let you get back to yourself. Just take him away. Imagine what it's like to think that you've lost someone you love forever and suddenly have them walk back into your life. I think maybe I can. There's so many feelings that I've kept buried for so long. It's just a little overwhelming. You'll be able to sort them out in time. Run out of time. You lost a lot of ground in court today. Dimmons has built up his circumstantial evidence into a mountain, and we need something very big to knock it down. Mason, we need your mother to testify. I can't. I promise you I won't implicate her as a suspect, and I won't cast dispersions on her character. We just need to establish that someone else besides Cruz was at the murder scene that night. Someone that the DA didn't know about. Go on. We finally have a chance to muck up the DA's nice, neat prefab scenario. If your mother says that she was there that night, who knows what else the DA missed in his investigation? And if we can prove reasonable doubt. Then we've got a shot. Are you following me? Julia, every instinct I have as a lawyer is telling me that you're right. We should put my mother on the stand. We should get her story. Verify places, dates, people. But... But right now, I... I feel more... Like a son. 
I know how much that she means to you. She's the only person in my life who ever loved me unconditionally without wanting anything in return. I can't betray her. Not now. Who can't you betray? What are you doing here, Victoria? I just wanted to see what you wanted to do for dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was going to call. Something important came up. Something important? Yes. Is that what you were talking about? A new lead in Cruz's case. What else would it be? I don't know, Mason. You tell me. Look, we can discuss this later. No, Julia. You're Mason's legal partner. I'm just his wife. I'll leave. Oh, come on, Victoria. You know the code of client confidentiality. Yes. And I also know about acting. And you're lousy at it. Maybe you should have told me. Kelly. Eaten. Hi. Oh, sneaking. <laughs> What's that for? I think this is for you. <laughs> I wanted you to open it before the rest of the guests arrive. Now? Yeah. You sure now? Yes. <laughs> you hold it. Okay. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my Lord. Isn't this beautiful? And my favorite color, <laughs> you didn't know? I know. I went to a bunch of stores to try to find it. I love it. What do you think? Oh, I think it'll be perfect for your wedding night. Not before. <laughs> I wanted to get you something special, but... Oh, Eden, it is special. Because you're my favorite sister. I'm your only sister. Yeah, well, that too, yeah. anyway. I love it. Thank you, you darling. Thanks. You're welcome. What's wrong? I just... I feel guilty. I can't help it, even. This is not the way we planned it. Do you know how happy I am for you? I know. And that sort of makes it worse, because I don't know if I would be as selfless if I was in your place. When you love somebody as much as I love you, it's easy. Just because you got your happy ending doesn't mean I'm not going to get mine. Cruz and I are going to get married. It's just going to take a little longer than we both thought. You're incredible, you know that? No matter what happens, you are always open and, and giving. How can you stay so positive? I have to. It's for Cruz. Today's horoscope wasn't so hot, but tomorrow's might be better. I have a feeling your planetary aspects are taking a, a, a turn towards home and heart. Here, look, I got you. Oh, come on. Here. It's a match set. I, I couldn't, I couldn't find wrappings, but you know. It... Oh, 
but don't say thanks yet. I'm right here. Um, uh, a lifetime calendar. <laughs> you believe me, man. Uh, 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 the monthly crossword puzzle. Uh, your first issue. I, I couldn't include the, the pencil. You know what I mean? You know, sharp objects. You do something nasty to yourself. You're in yourself, baby. And since you turned out to be such a romantic guy, you know, that, that, that poem to Eleanor was, was lovely. I, uh, I got you a uh, book of poetry. My, my favorite poem is a book by Chidiok Titchborn on the eve of his execution. Wrote this to his beloved Agnes on, when he was 28. Of course, Chidiok didn't, didn't write much after that. <laughs> Here, last, certainly not least, my piece de resistance. A custom-made deck of playing cards with a picture of your beloved Eden on each and every one. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! I have a feeling you'll be playing a lot of solitaire. I mean, under the circumstances, I don't expect a thank you card. You know, I, uh, I'm glad I didn't finish you off in court today. Because when I get out of here, I'm going to make your life such hell you'll wish you were dead. What's the story with the shady lady? Huh? Julia's having someone else look after her until the trial. That's it? She didn't do some dance of seven veils and then spill the beans? Hey, keep your voice down. Nobody's supposed to know about this. Anyway, I'm glad you could make it, Alex. It's my pleasure. I uh, wasn't too sure that you'd actually want to talk to me after what Mason put you through at the courtroom today. You're not your brother's keeper. How are things going with the wedding plans? Mm. They're going. They're going. Uh, Kelly has some doubts about the timing of it, but uh, you know how close she is with Eden, and uh, she's just she's just very involved with Cruz's trial right now. I know. When you see someone you love in pain, and you can't do a damn thing about it. You can't blame yourself for what happened, Alex. No. Elena was a very complicated woman. She was my daughter. I miss her. I'm sorry to interrupt. I need to talk to Jeffrey. Alone. Marcy, thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> now listen, I saved the best for last. I had to show everybody what Eden gave me. Uh, walk them <laughs> out, watch out. Leave her. Lick the uh, sieve. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 Hold it down. All the flash photos. <laughs> please, please, please. Oh, you gotta no get used more. to these pictures. Your father's gonna take millions of them at the wedding. <laughs> that's really beautiful. Oh, no, it's beautiful. She's going to look in it. Oh, and you're the ugly one, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, listen, I have one more thing to say. We're all done here. Now, talk, talk, talk. Fred. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> you know, always yeah, says I know she does. In the nature of an announcement, <laughs> food is being served in the dining room. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, Let's everyone go. this way. I have a funny feeling. You're next in line for a bridal shower. Well, why do you say that? Did your lead pan out? I mean, we are going to poke holes in the prosecution's case, so it looks like Swiss cheese. Really? Hello, hello. Oh, hi. 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late. Where, how's the party going? Oh, uh, it's, it's fine. Would you like some champagne? Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, hello, Julia. Hi, how are you? Um, actually, Eden, I wanted to apologize to you for, for everything I said on the, on, the, on the stand about me and Cruz and everything, you know. No, I'm sorry. I, I understand. You had to tell the truth. Well, the truth is, uh, the truth is, is that it, it's Mason that I love. I mean, he's my husband. He's a wonderful man. Yeah, I know. I, look, why don't you uh, sit down or something and relax? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I sat in, in court all day, you know. Oh, Cruz is a wonderful man, too. I, I'm sure I don't have to tell you that, though. No, you don't. Yeah, it's just wonderful how he, he keeps a grip on things, how he just knows that he's going to get out of this mess. We should all have faith, just like Cruz, right? Most tisk tisk tisk. Don't you love me anymore? I lurf you. You really do think this is funny, don't you? 
Well, actually, <laughs> yeah. I wish I could explain to you how funny it is. I wish I could explain to you how you are going to pay for this. Oh, I, I, you know, I already have. You know, those, those custom-made cards cost a pretty penny. No, no, you don't understand. You are going to pay for this. I'm going to... I'm going to eat your face, man. I'm going to spit it on the ground. Your face. Well, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Hey! hey. You want to know what I'm celebrating? Don't push me, I'll tell you. Here. You know, we've covered the horoscope, but, uh... How about the headline? <laughs> you see? Crazed prisoner. That's you. Attacks DA. That's me. I gotta be going. You sleep tight. And don't let the bed bug. I'll leave the two of you to your talk. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, <clears throat> that was rude, Mason. I mean, I don't think he deserves the treatment that you're dishing out to him. Never mind, Dr. Nicholas. I've got something very important to tell you. Sorry. Excuse me a second, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. What happened to our star witness? Earl. Are you going to keep her as a wraps forever? Is she going to test her? Earl, I can't talk about this now. You can... How come nobody tells... There's been nothing around this town. Why is that? So, uh, well, what is this very important thing that you have to speak to me about? If you had a wish, just one I wish. I think this is an appropriate moment for a toast, Mason. Jeffrey? To someone that Jeffrey would have wanted at his wedding. To someone that's very special to Jeffrey and to Mason. And to myself. To someone that, that we loved very much and that we'll never forget. To Pamela Capwell Conrad. I think this is very interesting. Julia, the omnipresent Julia. Excuse me, get some more. Uh, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. I'm all right. Why is everybody asking this question? Fine, relax. Julia, okay. don't be such a party pooper. This is a happy occasion. Come on, have fun. Maybe we ought to get some food. Food? No, no, no. Who wants food? You did it with the champagne. I want to drink some love and marriage. Well, uh, where's the where's the champagne? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I I think that we should. Uh, there you go. We should all listen to what Victoria says about about love and marriage, and I'd like to toast. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'll go to Kelly and to Jeffrey. May your wedding and the rest of your married life be a joy and happy. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Cheers. 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 And I have another toast. Oh. Your evening cruise. And may their wedding fall closely on the heels of ours. Here, here, here. <laughs>
авторы сценария Бриджит Добсон, Джером Добсон. Режиссер Майкл Глеона. Роли озвучивали актеры Александра Кожевникова, Татьяна Иванова, Галина Чегинская, Елена Ставрогина, Николай Буров, Валерий Захарев, Олег Куликович и Станислав Гансевич. Над фильмом работали Марина Андошская, Маша Орлова, Владимир Кирьянов и Алексей Чумаков. Телесериал «Санта-Барбара» подготовлен к показу российской государственной компании «Русское видео» Санкт-Петербург.